stop, sorry, but this isn't the right beginning. They don't shine with chrome or attract attention with the loud bass of a diesel engine or a youthful whistle of the turbocharger. Their main virtue is the silence and agility of a cat out on the hunt. These are fully electric trucks that have become a sensation in the freight industry, innovative and emission free. They have challenged more than half a century of dominance on the roads of the US and the world by classic trucks with internal combustion engines. You could compare them to electronic music, which came to replace the good old instrumental rock and roll. For music lovers and innovators, this kind of music became music to their ears. Meanwhile, old school rockers consider this kind of music cold, soulless, a cacophony, lacking real human emotion. Environmentalists around the world are thrilled about fully electric trucks because zero carbon dioxide emissions make it possible to effectively fight global warming, which threatens to completely melt all the glaciers on the planet and causes significant rise in sea levels. Oil companies and gas station owners, on the other hand, are not so enthusiastic about electric trucks, as they risk losing profits. But what exactly are these innovative electric power trucks? Are they the revolutionary future of global transportation logistics? Or is it just another high-tech stock market bubble with overblown expectations? Could it even be called a scam? To understand the prospects for further development in this area of automotive engineering, let's take a look at a promising electric power truck. The semi-truck, developed by the American company Tesla, which is owned by the renowned industrialist and innovative engineer Elon Musk. And today, it stands at the very forefront of the automotive revolution. On November 16th, 2017, in Los Angeles, in a festive atmosphere, Elon Musk officially unveiled the Tesla semi-electric truck, which is a fully-fledged cargo vehicle designed for commercial freight transportation within the city or over short distances. The electric truck, developed entirely from scratch, has its own platform and layout of key transmission components. The technical specifications of the electric tractor announced at the presentation were truly impressive. The vehicle's range, depending on the lithium-ion battery pack, is between 483 and 804 kilometers. The vehicle is powered by three independent electric motors located on the rear axles. One of the motors operates continuously to ensure optimal efficiency. The other two power units engage as needed, providing the truck with extra power during acceleration or when climbing hills. All the electric motors are protected with carbon fiber. Altogether, the three power units deliver a thousand horsepower, which is almost three times more than a standard diesel truck. Thanks to the high revving electric motors, the Tesla semi truck boasts incredible dynamic performance. When fully loaded at 36 tons, the truck accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 20 seconds, and without a load, the interval drops to just 5 seconds. Impressive, right? Some passenger cars would envy such performance, not to mention regular trucks with internal combustion engines. The Tesla electric truck boasts not only impressive performance, but also greater efficiency compared to diesel trucks. The semi consumes about 1.2 kilowatt hours of electricity per kilometer, which according to the company's calculations is 12 cents less per kilometer in monetary terms than when operating a conventional diesel truck. The semi is equipped with a 1000 volt charging system, which allows the battery to be recharged up to 80% in 30 minutes when using Tesla mega charger stations. The battery packs are located under the cab floor, between the front and drive wheels. The truck's aerodynamic design style, with no straight lines at all, was borrowed from Japanese high-speed trains. The drag coefficient of the tractor is 0.36, which is 0.02 lower than that of a sports car, the Bugatti Chiron. The single-seat cab of the semi track is equipped with an ultra-strong windshield. Inside the cabin, the driver's seat is positioned in the center, and on both sides of the steering wheel, there are two large touchscreens. There are no other instrument panels in the vehicle. Maximum simplicity, comfort, and nothing unnecessary. Inside the cab, an average height driver can stand up straight. Each of the trucks is equipped with an autopilot that can operate in semi-automatic mode. This allows several road trains to form a long convoy, with the driver only in the first truck. The start of mass production was planned for 2019, 
they were supposed to enter the market in three price categories. $150,000 for the truck with a range of 480 kilometers, and $180,000 for the one with an 800 kilometer range. Tesla will also offer a special luxury version, the Semi Founder Series, priced at $200,000. But unfortunately, due to insufficient production of their own battery cells, the mass production of the Semi truck was postponed several times. It was only in October 2022 that Elon Musk announced on his Twitter that production of the electric truck with an 800 kilometer range had begun. It can't really be said that full-scale mass production had started. Each truck was assembled by hand. These were still pre-production test prototypes, which nevertheless began to be delivered to customers. The first buyer of these innovative trucks was the American corporation PepsiCo, which purchased a large batch of semi-trucks for use in their own fleets, transporting Pepsi beverages and Frito-Lay snacks. In total, by May 2024, about 300 electric trucks had been built, which were being tested under real working conditions in several American companies, Walmart, Cisco, Martin Brower, and Costco. While the first semi-track prototypes were being tested and improved, Tesla was simultaneously building a new manufacturing complex in the state of Nevada, it was located near the Gigafactory Nevada, which produces electric batteries. The new plan is designed to produce 50,000 trucks per year. If this project is fully realized, Tesla will be able to challenge the leading manufacturers of traditional diesel trucks in the American market, Peterbilt, Freightliner, and Volvo, which could spark a real revolution in the long-haul transportation industry. And there isn't much time left to wait until the start of mass production. According to the company's preliminary plans, it is set to begin in the first half of 2026. Tesla is not only preparing the vehicle and the factory itself, but also the necessary infrastructure for the future maintenance of its electric trucks on the highway. At the end of 2023, the company announced plans to create a network of charging stations in the southwestern United States. The estimated cost of this project is about $100 million. Generation 2 received significant improvements. New, more efficient battery packs and electric motors, improved aerodynamics, cabins, and new headlights with modern LED fog lights. And also a potential sleeper cab for more comfortable long distance trips. But it's quite possible that very soon, this truck won't need a sleeper cab at all. Because there'll be an empty spot where the driver used to be. And what about controlling the drone? Throughout the entire route, the new generation autopilot using artificial intelligence will handle it. This device has already been successfully integrated into the truck's control system. It has passed all the tests and can now be used on routes. In its operation, the autopilot uses its own sensitive camera as well as elements of the vehicle's active protection system, surround view cameras, radars, and sensors, to analyze and predict situations on the road. And artificial intelligence helps the truck respond quickly to changes. In fact, we're moving toward a reality that feels like it's straight out of a science fiction movie. Like in Transformers, where trucks weren't just machines for transporting cargo, but high-tech creations with their own intelligence. The trucks of the future will no longer need drivers. They'll operate almost around the clock, never getting tired. They won't need time to rest or sleep. They won't lose alertness or focus. Like it happens with human drivers? Electric trucks with autopilot won't demand higher salaries, bonuses, overtime pay, or submit requests for annual leave. Such electric trucks will take the long-haul transportation industry to a new level of efficiency and profitability. Even now, the efficiency of electric trucks reaches 60%, while diesel trucks only have 45%. And that's understandable, you know? Their design has fewer moving parts and mechanisms that constantly wear out and require additional maintenance. For example, only 40% of thermal energy from the engine is converted into mechanical work that gives the vehicle its dynamics, while the rest is lost as heat in the engine itself. Also, electric trucks don't need complex transmissions with clutches, gearboxes, drive shafts, and differentials. When transmitting torque, a significant portion of the power flow is lost. In addition, given today's strict environmental standards, modern diesel trucks require expensive and high-tech systems. The purification of exhaust gases, which significantly affects the final price of the trucks themselves. Electric trucks, which are environmentally friendly, do not require any of this. 
But of course, on the path to realizing an innovative future for logistics transportation, there are urgent challenges. That need to be addressed. First of all, these are bureaucratic issues. After all, in order to obtain permission for the mass use of electric trucks by transport companies, trucks that are operated by autopilot rather than drivers, a solid legislative framework is needed, one that takes into account all the nuances related to safety standards, since any significant road incidents could occur. At the initial stage of implementing this program, such incidents could completely bury the entire project, instilling distrust of machines in the hearts of road users, which are controlled by autopilot. And no less important is the social issue, because the widespread adoption of electric trucks with autopilot control in logistics will simply make the profession of long-haul truck driver unnecessary. And then millions of people, once part of one of the most prestigious and widespread professions, will find themselves at the job center, which will undoubtedly lead to social tension. This could be compared to the profession of the city lamplighter, which existed for many hundreds of years. But it disappeared at the beginning of the 20th century, when the widespread use of electric incandescent lamps and street lighting replaced gas lamps that had to be lit with fire. Only in the case of truck drivers, the situation could be much more acute. But even after solving these two problems, there will still be other, no less significant obstacles on the road to the success of electric trucks. The political lobby of diesel truck manufacturers, as well as the lobby of oil companies. Who won't agree to lose their profits? And won't the production of electric trucks end up in the hands of a small circle of companies that own the necessary technologies and deposits of minerals required for manufacturing battery packs? And won't those same batteries become the Achilles heel of electric trucks due to their technical imperfections? Time will tell the answer to all these questions. And what do you think, dear viewers? Will electric trucks push conventional diesel trucks off the roads in the near future? Conventional diesel trucks. And shouldn't long-haul truck drivers already be looking for another profession in anticipation of the possible widespread use of self-driving trucks? Write your answers in the comments. All the best to you, and see you in the next interesting episodes.